What's up guys? This is Billy coming at you guys with another tutorial. I just woke up so excuse me uh, for sounding a little drowsy here. But uh, this tutorial is basically for people who have a basic understanding of how to use Photoshop and After Effects. Uh, if you don't, I'm sorry. Um, you know, maybe do some research, learn how to get a basic understanding of it. Um, but yet this is like I said, for people who have a basic understanding of After Effects and Photoshop and how to work Adobe software. So basically, fellas, this is what I started out with. This is a webcam border that I found on the internet and decided to slap my um, my logo on there, the Druid Bear. Um, so that's basically what I did in Photoshop. I basically imported it into After Effects. All right, guys. So if we go back to the composition right here, you can see that I have many, many layers here. So I'm just going to turn them all off to start just to show you guys how I did it step by step. I'm going to try to make this as quick as possible because no one likes long videos, am I right? Alright guys, so basically I started off with this, uh, the webcam border. Uh, the effects that I have on here are optical flares, uh, Video Copilot's optical flares. You can figure out how to get them online if you don't already have the plugin. I basically imported the webcam overlay right here that I made in Photoshop and I was sure to tick this little box here to make the background transparent so we don't have a black border with everything we do. And that's the point, we want a transparent background so we can use it in our, our live streams, you know, or videos, you know, either way. Um, so basically I use Video Copilot uh, optical flares and I changed the color to green um, and I basically, you know, put the optical flares over the eyes, added some flicker to make them flicker all nice. So if we ram preview really quickly and get a basic understanding of what the flicker does, there we go. So it gives like that effect. It's pretty nice. I thought it worked out well, but then I was like, you know, this is missing something. So what I decided to do was add some smoke. Now these are pre-made uh, overlays uh, from Action Essentials 2. Um, basically they're just, um, you know, they have tons of different like explosion overlays and smoke and dust particles and, you know, tons of different overlays. I decided to add some smoke over them. So I basically took the smoke overlays right here. This is the normal file right here, as you can see. And if you look, turn that background off, the smoke is still there. So when you import the effects from uh, Action Essentials, it'll tr it'll put it into your footage with a transparent background. So basically that, I just have that looping over and over again. Um, next thing I did, let me just go back to my project file really quickly so I don't get confused. I was saying like, you know, this is looking a little bland and I've always wanted sort of a... Uh, you know, top donator and recent donator thing attached to my webcam overlay. Um, so I decided to whip this up. Turn on. There we go. Top donator recent. There's another thing in Photoshop. Photoshop this up real quick. I have the bars for the top donator and the recent donations right there. And I basically just stuck it, you know, right at the top right here. Um, from there, I decided to add some fire. Oops, there we go. I decided this is once again from the Action Essentials 2 pack. Um, if you guys want Action Essentials, I'm not going to show you how to get it, but I will tell you that there is ways to get it other than buying, but that's not the kind of tutorial I'm going to be doing. If you look up uh, Action Essentials 2, you should be able to find it. So I added some flames. If we ram preview real quick. Once again, Action Essentials 2, these green frames flames that I have right there. Um, I'll show you the normal footage really quickly. So you, you know, see this is a uh, one of the normal footages. I also changed the color using color correction in After Effects um, to make the fire green instead of the default orange. Now, here we go. I'll just put on a background so you guys can get a basic understanding of the effect that it put on. Uh, this tutorial was heavily requested, and I hope this is doing you guys okay. Um, I'm sorry I can't be more informative on how I did it, but this is as simple as it gets for me to describe it to you guys. Um, 
So I was looking at these and I decided I wanted to add an adjustment layer um, because, you know, these are a little bland over here. You know, there's not really much going on on these bars here. So I added a few adjustment layers and added some optical flares to the whole thing. And I was like, all right, this looks so much better now. So if we ram preview really quickly, you can see we have this effect. And I was super happy with the outcome. I put my webcam right in the center here. And it looks really sweet, you know, with um, World of Warcraft Legion coming out soon. I wanted a Legion based theme and I think it came out overall really nice. And, uh, you know, I hope you, you know, you guys seem to like it. So I figured why not, you know, I'll show you guys it's heavily requested. So hopefully this tutorial will help you guys out and give you a basic understanding of how I made my overlay. But I'm going to show you how to export it and make sure you have a transparent background. So if we stop the RAM preview real quick, make sure you have this box ticked right here to turn off the background because we want it transparent. We don't want a black box behind our footage here. You're going to want to go to file. Once you are done with your file, with your whole project here, you're going to want to go to export, add to render queue. Now I'm going to get rid of this. All right. Uh, render settings, best full. You know, render it out any resolution you like. May, for instance, is 1280 by 720 at 30 frames a second. Then you want to go to the output module. You're going to want to render it either as AVI, but I recommend QuickTime. Go to QuickTime. This is the important part. This makes it so we have a transparent background. Make sure you have RGB plus alpha under the channels. Check under video output. Format options, animation, quality. I put that all the way up. Um, audio output, if you have audio in it, then I don't know, I guess you can audio output your audio, but I don't, I, I wouldn't put audio in it. It's really no point if it's going to be looping over and over again. And you want to click here, you're going to want to name your file. And then once you are ready, you're going to want to click render right here and that'll render out your file. Now I'm going to show you how to import it into OBS. So if we close out of after effects really quick, open up, open broadcaster. You know, we'll do uh, we'll start a new scene really quickly just to show you guys all right guys so we're, we're right here new scene um, if you guys want the oh wait you click add video you see I have the video option here now there's a video um, importer plugin for OBS you can get from open broadcasters website it's a plugin um, it's really simple to uh, to install just follow the instructions if you have 32-bit OBS or 64-bit just follow the instructions whichever one you use and it's right on the website you can't miss it um, we're gonna want to import video Bam. Um, you know it, depending on the size of the webcam overlay is gonna be depends on the output resolution you're gonna have now if you want to save a lot on your processes if it's just gonna be a little thing in the corner don't scale it up to 1920 by 1080 you know, put it at 640 by 360 because you'll save a lot more memory in that case. Uh, then you want to go here, playlist editor, wherever you saved your overlay. In my case, it is on the desktop web webcam overlay 2015 uh, and playlist looping. Check that. So it just loops over and over again, over and over again. And okay. That should import. There we go. And there is the webcam overlay. Now I can also just to show you guys that it is transparent the monitor capture Let me capture that bam now it's capturing my other monitor here and now if i bring it to the bottom you can see that the overlay is transparent it's working um and we're looking all fucking nice for our stream and you can wow people with all the effects and cool things you have um, you'll need a moderately good computer to have one of these. Um, I'm sure there's easier ways to do this other than importing video, maybe creating it as a GIF. I don't know, but this is the way I did it. You guys asked and it works for me. Um, so I hope this helps you out guys. Uh, remember to click that like button. This was heavily requested. So I hope it helped you guys out in the long run. Um, hopefully this video is not too long and was very informative for you. Um, if you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. I will reply to you ASAP and uh, yeah guys enjoy you know spice up your streams make it look nice 
and I'll see you guys in the next one. Yes, I